The Australian Army is a small but modern fighting force. The Australian Army has 29,633 active personnel and 20,123 reserve personnel. It is divided into the 1st and 2nd Divisions. The 1st Division has 18,000 personnel and its headquarters is located in Brisbane. It has three infantry brigades, and in each brigade, four battalions with up to 1,000 soldiers. It also has various supporting units like artillery, engineer, and medical units. The second division has 11,000 personnel. It has six brigades and various supporting units like artillery and engineer and medical units. The Australian Army also has spec ops units like the SAS and other supporting units. The Australian Army is going through an upgrade acquiring new and more vehicles as part of the Land 400 Phase 3. The Australian Army uses F-88 Ostia bullpup assault rifles. They are chambered in NATO 5.56 caliber with 45mm rounds. The rifles are accurate and reliable guns with the ability for various attachments like grenade launchers, tactical lights, and scopes. As a 30 round magazine can fire 680 to 850 rounds per minute. Although some Spec Ops soldiers use the M4A5s and the HK416s. The Australian Army also uses several different sniper rifles, but primarily uses the British SR98 sniper rifle. The Army also uses several different light machine guns, but primarily uses Belgium's F89A1 LMG is considered the squad automatic weapon of the Australian Army. The Army also uses the American M2 Browning on vehicles like tanks and armored trucks. The Australian Army's main sidearm is the Browning High Power Semi-Automatic Pistol. The Australian Army also has anti-armor weapons. They use the M72 Law Anti-Tank Rocket Launcher, the Carl Gustav Recoilless Rifle Anti-Tank Launcher, and the Javelin Anti-Tank Rocket Launcher. These weapons are used to destroy tanks and other vehicles on the battlefield. The Australian Army also uses M252A1 mortars. It is a light mortar designed to be carried by infantry to deliver fast arching fire. The Australian Army also has many vehicles for different purposes. The American M1A1 Abrams main battle tank is used by Australia. The Army has 59 tanks, but they will be replaced by 75 upgraded M1A2 Abrams tanks from 2024 onwards. These tanks are modern combat proven vehicles. They have a 120mm main gun along with 2-3 secondary machine guns. They weigh 67 tons and have composite armor. The tank can reach up to 72 kilometers an hour. The Australian Army has 275 Aslav armored reconnaissance vehicles. They are 8 wheel drive and can get to 100 km an hour. They have a 25mm chain gun which is very good at suppressing enemy troops. The vehicles were designed in Australia and Canada. These reconnaissance vehicles will soon be replaced by the Boxer Armoured Fighting Vehicle. The Australian Army has purchased 220 boxes from Germany and the Netherlands as the vehicle is a joint design. The Australian boxes are fitted with a two-man turret with a 30mm cannon. The boxes can get to around 100 km an hour. The Australian Army also uses 431 M113s. They are old American troop carriers which could travel at 67 km an hour. They will soon be replaced by either the Linux KF-41 or the AS-21 Redback. Both vehicles are good and much larger than the M113, allowing more troops to be carried. The Army prefers the Redback, but the Linux has a more simple and conventional armor design. But due to the amount of Russian tanks being destroyed in Ukraine, we may not get a decision on the AFV anytime soon. The Australian Army also has 13 M88A Hercules armored recovery vehicles, which are made to pull vehicles around in order to clear blocked roads or pull friendly vehicles out of ditches and other things. The Australian Army will be receiving another six as part of the Land 400 Phase 3. The Australian Army has 1,052 Bushmaster Protected Mobility Vehicles. These vehicles can protect their passengers from mines and small arms fire. They are well known for this ability. 
The Australian Army also has 260 Hawkey PMV four-wheeled armoured cars. In total, the Army has ordered 1,100 of the cars to allow for troop transport and armoured reconnaissance. These vehicles are partly replacing the Land Rover Parenti armoured car. The Army still operates 1,500 of these vehicles. The Australian Army also operates 2,200 Mercedes G-Wagons. They're used to carry equipment and troops. These vehicles are also replacing the Land Rover. The Australian Army uses the Rheinmantle RMMV HX tactical trucks. They have many different versions of the truck. They can carry equipment and troops across battlefields. Australia also has 31 HMT extenders and 8 high mobility excavators. 12 Husky Mark 3s and 21 John Deere 450J bulldozers. The Australian Army has a range of air defense weapons and artillery. They operate 48 American M777 howitzers. They are 155mm artillery weapons designed to bombard enemy positions and support friendly troops. They also have 30 Swedish RBS-70 short-range air defense man-portable air defense systems. They are designed to shoot down helicopters and other low-flying aircraft. The Australian Army also operates several aircraft in order to support ground troops and conduct recon missions. They operate 22 Airbus Tiger ARH armored reconnaissance helicopters. They serve as attack helicopters for the Australian military armed with guns and missiles. The Army also has 41 MRH-90 Tapon medium lift helicopters. They are meant to lift equipment and troops for around battlefields. The Australian Army also has 14 Boeing Chinooks. They are used as heavy transport helicopters and can move around troops and equipment inside but can also carry heavy equipment underneath. The Australian Army also has several Eurocopter training helicopters. This is the equipment and vehicles of the Australian Army. Like this video and subscribe to see more content like this.